Okay, welcome to Fresh Store version three. This is a massive new release. We have a lot of great new features. In this video, we're going to cover briefly all of the features. We're gonna take a look at the new dashboard. We're gonna get through things quickly, but we are releasing some more in-depth videos on each individual feature. So keep an eye out for those. We have a lot to cover, so let's get straight in. And the first thing you can see is a brand new dashboard in this version and actually a whole new design. So in this dashboard, you can now see our launch plan. I'm gonna come back to that in a second. You can see our analytics for the store, what's been happening, who's been visiting, how many affiliate clicks and cart checkouts you've been getting and so on. And you have some useful links down here to some of the AI tools. Let's go back to the launch plan. So this is a, a big new feature in this version and it gives you a step-by-step -step to what we recommend you should do for a new store. So if you're starting your store and you're thinking, I don't know what to do next, I don't know if this is right, I don't know if it's ready, then follow this launch plan. It's gonna take you through step-by-step -step, and on each step, you can read about it, you can do it and you can check it done. So in this case, we have next in my list is to pick a color scheme. If I click this link, it's gonna take me to the color schemes and I can choose one. So I can update my color scheme or I can decide to keep the same. Once I've done that, click on done and you get a nice little celebration and your progress updates. So I've gone from 50 to 54. And as we keep working through that, we will grow our store and get it ready for launch. So it's a great way to get started. Even if you already have a store that's been live for a while, work through this list and see if there is anything that you need to do. And if not, click on complete all and complete the launch plan. Okay, so more details on that in another video. <clears throat> excuse me, excuse my voice. And the next one I wanna show you is notifications. So everywhere in your store, you're gonna see this little bell icon. Some of the key things that have been happening will send you a notification. In this case, a checkout, an affiliate click, a message. You'll also get these for when an article has finished creating, a product has imported, something like that. Now, one other thing I want to show you, I'll click into here, AI chips. I wanna show you AI chips, but first, keep an eye out for these guide links. They're all throughout the admin area and they will open up the guide related to this page. So in this case, it's what are AI chips, more information, what do you need to know? So if you're feeling a bit lost, a bit confused, or you don't know what this page is or this section, look out for this guide link. <clears throat> Excuse me. Okay, so back to AI chips. And in this version, we've added a whole new section for the history of your AI task. This was requested by a lot of members. So now you can see exactly where your chips have been spent. I've been playing around a little bit with the page meta description on the homepage that cost me this many chips 38 minutes ago. You can dig into that. You can see where your chips are going. And yeah, very cool. So next up, I wanna show you the category builder and the different AI tools for products. So we now have a different structure on the left-hand side menu. We have everything here in store is related to your products, your pages, your, your traffic, and so on. If we click into products, we now have grouped into products, the brands, the categories for the products, offers and auto-populators. I wanna show you these new, they're not new, but they are improved AI tools. So the category builder will build out a list of categories for you. You should have seen this feature already, um, it's really cool, just chooses your niche or you can enter something in there and it will give you a list of, of categories that you can use for your store. In this case, compact fridges, wine coolers, beer fridges, really cool. If you click build categories here, it's gonna create all those categories for you with the content all ready to go. The next thing I wanna show you is a link importer and I have some examples here. So <clears throat> what this is for is if you are looking at products on Amazon, on the Amazon website, and you want to get them in your store, but you don't want to go through the product finder again and you just have a list of links. So that's what I've done here. I've been browsing the Amazon website, looking for drink fridges. I copied the links, I'm pasting them in here. Um, actually, that's a duplicate, but that's a good example. <clears throat> and that's a different way to add products to your store. Some people prefer that. I like to do it sometimes, uh, but I also like to use the product finder, which we'll look at next. Okay, so choose some categories. Let's see what happens. When you click import links, it's gonna go and find those products and import them for you. It'll give you the status here. You can always shrink this menu here if you're not seeing everything. And yeah, this one is importing. This one is a duplicate, like I said before. 
and this one is importing. So we'll dig into this in, in more detail in another guide, but I just wanted to give you the overview. Okay, so the product finder itself is a more in-depth way to find products. You can search here. This is your niche that has been put in your store settings. You can ask the AI to give you an idea of what to search for. Beverage coolers for home use, maybe not a great thing to search for. Mini drink fridges for small spaces. I'll probably just go, okay, mini drink fridges and find products. <clears throat> and from here, you'll see a list of products in this case from Amazon. In this case, these products have already been added to my store. This one hasn't. I can choose to import it when I do. I can choose a category. So very cool, very easy. That will add the product and rewrite all the content for you. Okay, moving on. Next up, I wanna look at the, we've looked at the link importer, the product finder. I wanna look at the article. So in your left-hand menu, let's bring this back out. We have an article section. And in here, we have the articles and the article categories. A little bit further down, we have three AI tools. And previously we had one. So let's take a look at the previous one and how we have improved it. This is your article writer. So we'll write an article on any topic. And that's what we have here. <clears throat> Excuse me, the topic for the article. We now have a keyword for SEO, which will go into the content and try and add that keyword in as many places as possible within the SEO guidelines. And we also have the option to, oops, to generate this with AI. So if you can't think of an article topic, this is a new thing. Click the button. You'll get a topic linked to your niche. In this case, boosting your mental well-being with drink fridges. Not quite sure about that angle for an article. The air doesn't always get it right, but this one is much better. Sustainable drink fridges for eco-conscious buyers. So this would create a great article that's, that's more tailored towards eco-friendly drink fridges. And yeah, we now have an author, which is new. We can choose the categories. We can choose to create images and add related products within above or below the article, add embedded products within the article, and we can duplicate this and we can add another article. So instead of going and creating one at a time, we can do this. Let's add another one. It creates another box here. Think of a new topic or I have the AI do it. Do that as many times as you want. And then you can click the button, start writing, and it will create them all at the same time. Again, we'll go into this in more detail <clears throat> in another video. But these two new AI features are super cool. This warning as well, you will see if you have filled anything out and you haven't saved it. So that's just to stop you from losing anything in case you make a mistake and click a link. Okay, excuse my voice, I'm sorry. I'm losing my voice a little bit. Um, but this is an excellent feature. The product booster feature will take an existing product in your store. For example, any of these, just click on them. And then it will create an informational review on this product in an easy to read, informative and creative style. That's for the AI. That's what it's gonna do. It's gonna create an article about that product and it's gonna to link to it. So it's a great internal link. It's a great way to boost SEO for that particular product. A great way to get articles and content into your store. You can change these instructions. So if you wanna do something different related to that product, for example, list the, the benefits, the positives and the negatives, um, dive into the history on this product, give me five things that you can use this product for, you can do whatever you want here. And it's a way of creating an article focused around one specific product in your store. Like I said, it will link to the product. And yeah, what I recommend, go in and try it, see what it's like, and we'll be doing a video on this in more detail later. I don't wanna slow this down because we've got so much to look at. Okay, the next one is also an amazing feature, the review writer so this is for i started building this feature for clickbank because i realized that clickbank doesn't have an api and i'm going to need to take the information from a link but then i realized this will work for any link that you give it so i can give it a clickbank link or i could give it any product link like this one in this case it's a, a drink fridge from a, a random website cocology.com and obviously normally you wouldn't be able to import this into a store However, with this review writer, it will read all the information on that link and create this here, a balanced product review article. And again, you can change those instructions. You have a call to action link on these review articles. So this is mainly for ClickBank, but it works for everything. So yeah, again, I encourage you to dive into this, give it a try, paste a link in here, see what it gives you. And we will be doing a full video on this later. 
Okay, so we're getting through these. I don't want to make this video too long. Uh, product Booster, Review Writer. Let's take a look at the analytics. And that's this section here. We also saw it on the home page. We have added a lot more detail to your store analytics. So this is all about seeing what visitors you've had, what they've done on your store, what links they have clicked, where they've come from, and so on. <clears throat> Again, we'll go into this in more detail, but we roughly, we have visits, we have visitors, and we have actions. Every time somebody visits your store, it's called a visit, but the same person can visit multiple times. I could visit the store today, next week, in two months. In that case, it would be three visits, but one visitor. So that's the difference between a visit and a visitor. And every visit, you make actions. So in this case, it might be viewing a page, which is the most common action, but it can also be clicking a link. It can be doing a cart checkout. It can be adding something to the cart. So that's what an action is. When you're on the store, you're doing actions, you're visiting a page, you're clicking a link, so on. Let's take a look into more detail into a visit just quickly. So this will have been me today, actually, because it's uh, 45 minutes ago. And let's take a look at what I did. And that's not my location, fortunately, but it because it's uh, to do with my, my VPN, I think I'm using. But it shows you the location where the IP address is from. So you can get an idea of where the visitor is from, where they came from. In this case, I typed the URL in directly and IP address and what I've been using to browse. And this is my actions. I visited the homepage first. I went to a product. I added it to the cart. I reviewed the cart page. I clicked a link to Amazon and so on. Really cool stuff. You can see exactly what's going on in your store. If you're ever uncertain what's happening, am I getting traffic? What's going on? This analytics section will tell you. Okay, let's move on. More detail to come on that in a different video. In design, we've added a lot more features, a lot more cool stuff. So color schemes we have seen before. Typography is a big one and requested by a lot of people. We can now change how the main title font looks. The, the subtitles and the rest of the body text, we can change the font, change the size, change the alignment. Down here, you can see a preview. So if I just go ahead and change this font to something like uh, mono font, you can see that that's just updated quickly. So you see a preview here, you see how it roughly will look on your store, and then you can save it and check out the store. We have more options for logos, and what else do we have going on? Um, yeah. I'll let you dig into those settings. I don't want to go too far in detail, but we added a lot more little tweaks and little things you can do. Keyword research is a big tool that we added to this version. Very, very helpful for finding out what articles you want to add, what products you want to add, what's going to generate traffic, what is popular right now. So to get started with the keyword research, you put in your starting keyword. In this case, it is going to pre-populate with my niche, which is drink fridges. Choose the number of keywords. I'm gonna say two just to make it faster. And long tail keywords is, as it says in here, this is what I was talking about before. If you're ever uncertain of anything, look for this little information icon and you'll get more information. And also the guide here will, will tell you more too. Um, but yeah, long tail keywords, you can dig into that. You can add more instructions if you want to. Let's keep it simple. It's going to come back with two keywords related to drink fridges that are that are good. Best drink fridges, compact drink fridges. So that's great suggestions. And when you click to open these, you're going to see the traffic that roughly you can expect, the, the kind of competition that's out there, the relevance to your store, some details on how to create content, what you could use it for, and the intent. And that means what people are thinking when they're typing that keyword in, what they're looking for. But the real power here is once you find a keyword that you want to use, you can click here and say, okay, best drink fridges. I want to make an article on that. So click create article and you're going to get the article right to open with this already populated, ready to click and go or tweak if you want. Same for categories for finding products. If you think, okay, compact drink fridges, that's a good idea. Let's see if we can find some products from here. You can go to the product finder with the keyword pre-populated, super useful stuff. Dig into that. Make sure you use it. Let's take a look at the changes we made to search engines here. Oh, excuse me. So we've added some more information about your sitemap. Uh, Index now is a pre-existing feature. Rich results is something new we've added. We'll go into more detail. I don't want to explain too much in here because it gets a bit in depth, but this is about providing 
structured data to Google to help your rankings. And you can check it out here and you can test it. Social media is the same as before, but updated and improved. So you can now link, see that just to make sure that your, your information is correct. There's more information on how to do it. There's a guide here as well. So this is about adding links to your social media on your store. Content marketing is RSS feeds and it's gonna expand with more features soon. We've added a bit more detail here on each feed and we've also added, which is brand new, RSS feeds on individual categories of products and articles. This was requested by a few, uh, few members and I thought it was a really good idea. So we've added that in also. What else do I wanna show you We're almost at the end? Okay, analytics is done. Final one I wanna show you is sales. So inside sales is kind of a subsection of the analytics. We're looking at the affiliate links that have been clicked. So we can see kind of the value and, and the, the amount of clicks that we've got. And we can see them tied to a visitor if you want to. So this month in this test store, which I haven't done anything with really, um, we've got a few clicks to various products. This one is priced at this price and so on. We can see the product that was clicked. We can see the link and yeah, where it went to Amazon, Amazon Mexico and a visitor from Mexico. Um, yeah, you can dig into that further. So it's a great way to see how your store is growing. You, this doesn't necessarily mean that you have, you have had a sale from that click, but it does show you that you're making progress and what you can expect. Um, yeah, really cool. And checkouts is the same thing. If you have the cart enabled in your store, then you will see, this was me testing today. You will see every time somebody goes to the cart and clicks on the checkout button and the value of that and the number of products. This section will give you links directly to all the uh, places where you are earning commissions. So in this case, I have these three places enabled, Amazon UK, Amazon US and eBay. So there's links here to log in. There's a guide here as well about uh, how to withdraw your affiliate commissions and so on. So a bit more help in terms of earning. And you know what? That is enough for this version overview. We worked a long time on this version. So I just want to say thank you to everybody's patience who's been asking for features, when we're going to release it. We made a lot of changes. And as you can see, we actually created a whole new admin area, which is kind of like creating a whole new product. And this kind of happened not by accident, but it happened by necessity. And yeah, we, we ended up fixing one thing, fixing another, improving another, improving another until basically we rewrote the whole admin area. Anyway, I hope you like it. It's definitely an improvement on what it was before. It gives us more of a foundation to build more features. You'll notice it's a lot faster. It makes a lot more sense. All the little bits and pieces are filled in like the guides and the little help icons and all the descriptions and all the structure. So yeah, thank you for your patience and thank you for the contributions for everybody who added to the roadmap, who gave me comments, gave me feedback. Thank you to the beta testers also who jumped on this a couple of weeks ago, started testing, giving feedback. And yeah, I'm really excited to get this out. I, this is what I love to do is create something and, and build and see everybody using it and benefiting from it. These features will give you a, a big boost in your stores. Follow through the launch plan, we'll get you on the right track. Use these features to create content, get traffic, get more sales, and that's what it's all about. So I hope you enjoy it. Give me your feedback. Sorry for my voice today, it's a bit croaky. I don't know where that came from, but I wanted to get this video out today. So, okay, enjoy and take care.